What up everybody, welcome back to Pro Publications YouTube channel is always be rich. On this channel we talk about zines and DIY culture. Basically if you're into print media, if you're into underground comics, uh, underground literature, you might want to consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to help your boy out, go ahead and like the video. So what do I got for you today? Well, change of plans because I went to the post office and I am excited to say that BAM! We got some zine mail from those comics. I'm a big fan of Javier Hernandez. Uh, El Muerto, Maniac Priest, and a lot of other goodies. And I uh, supported his Kickstarter project and I got my, uh, I don't know what it's called, rewards package or whatever. So let's go ahead and get into that now. Oh, I saw him once when I lived in Pineview. It's the postman. It's the postman. Let's do it. Lowe's Comics. Oh man, this is a big package. Uh, see what we got. Bam. Days of the Dead. Here it is, the new one. El Muerto, Casa del Diablo. Preview edition. Plastic Zombie. Look at that. See what is in this little thing right here. Bam! Man, this is heavy too. Got two buttons, which I believe that because he he uh, reached a certain threshold, he just added extra goodness to it, and this is some of it. So that's the homie. Always making sure you get your money's worth with them. Yeah, these two he added. Look at that one. That's a hit. Look at that background, man. That's a hit, too. Oh, gee. Go ahead and put these back. Because I collect these. I have, I have a bunch of the homies shit, man. But I love the black and white art, even though I love his coloring too, man. Uh, I've done other reviews of his, and one of them was in color. And I really do enjoy his use of color. Although I always love the black and white aesthetic. That's just, I grew up with that, like, black and white, you know, comics boom. So, like, this is just, this is my shit, you know what I mean? Look at the art, man. Don't show off too much, you guys, because you guys got to get a copy of this. Days of the Dead. I would honestly recommend anything by Javier Hernandez, but I don't think he's making it anymore. But that Maniac Priest was the one that I read that I remember falling in love with his work. And hopefully he brings that character back. This is the new one. This is basically what we were funding. Um, preview edition, because uh, he's trying to finish the graphic novel by the end of the year or maybe early next year. I know he's been hard at work at it. In this exclusive limited edition sneak peek, follow El Muerto as he prepares to enter La Casa del Diablo. That's a hit. Oh, there goes all the homie socials right there. Go ahead and connect with the homie. He also has a YouTube channel. Look at this shit. Sign, bam. Anyone sending me zines, man, if you guys send them, go ahead and sign that shit for me, man. I always appreciate a signature on it. Juan Diego de la Muerte, born on November 2nd, the Day of the Dead. A faithful car accident on his 21st birthday sent him to the Aztec land of the dead, Mictlan. Confronted by a pair of Aztec gods, Mictlan Tequitli, the God of Death, and Tezcatlipoca, the Lord of Destiny, he was transformed in a ritual sacrifice. That's the beginning of the saga, the story. Things I like about this series is, is just that. The personality, the fact that it's really rooted 
in a lot of the of the mythos and lore of of you know of Hispanic and indigenous culture. So it's and the art is amazing, man. So it's you know it's a must read. If you don't have anything by the homie Javier Hernandez, pick something up, you guys. But alright, man, I just want to show this off. This is what I got today, and I am excited. Couldn't come at a better time. I'm probably gonna stay up just reading all this shit. Alrighty, guys. Uh, until next time. Late. Fight the fascists.